Hey everyone, welcome to part four of the Arasaka machine here on Hack Smarter. Now this is gonna hopefully be a shorter video unless I run into silly rabbit holes, which is always a good possibility. But in the previous video, I gave you a challenge. We continued enumerating and we found that the domain controller is vulnerable to an ADCS vulnerability, specifically ESC1, and the user that we recently compromised, soulkiller.service, has the ability to enroll certificates there and potentially escalate our privileges that way. But I gave you a challenge to try to do that on your own. If you were able to do that, you know, round of applause, congratulations, you did an amazing job. If not, that is okay. In this video, I will walk you through it step by step, and hopefully we can compromise one of the domain admins together. All that being said, let me go ahead and share my screen, and we will dive on in. So this is what we were looking at at the end of the previous video, was how to exploit ESC1. And we have the syntax right here. So step number one, let's just go ahead and copy the syntax and add it to our notes and begin filling out how to actually exploit it. We'll say exploiting ESC1. So what pieces of information do we need or do we already have? I'll zoom in so you guys can see this a little bit better. Well, we already have our user. So our user is going to be soulkiller.service at hacksmarter.local. So we don't need anything there. And we also have our user's password. If we scroll up to the top, our user's password is here. So, so far, so good. We have each piece of information that we need. Next is our domain controller IP. Let's go ahead and grab that from our machine. And we will paste that in. I do not mean to paste it twice. Now I'm having issues. I'm still learning how to use a computer. Our target, which is the certificate, if we scroll up here, I think we're going to want to do be the full name. I don't. Would it be hack smarter? I'm tripping myself on it. CA.corp.local, but ours would be not that. Would it be this? Well, I don't think it would be the dc01.hexmar.local because the, that's the DNS name. That's not the full certificate name. We have the template name of AI underscore takeover. Um, but I think it would be the CN name. Yeah. Hacksmarter.ca.local. I think so. Well, we'll come back to it because then the CA right here is going to be the certificate authority, which would be at the top, would be this right here for the certificate authority. Oh, if I can copy it. CA is right here. My goodness, I don't know why when I try to like highlight all of it, it just like breaks. So I think the CA in this case would be hacksmarter-dc01-ca. Our template is going to be this AI takeover thingy. And then our UPN, there was actually two different domain admins. We actually saw this in the very beginning when we were enumerating. We have administrator and the emperor. Let's go ahead and try to get the emperor. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and we will grab the emperors. It'd be the emperor at hacksmarter.local. Username is wrong. Oh, shoot. Oh, good call. Thank you. Soulkiller.svc at hacksmart.local, our password, our DCIP, and our target. I think it would just be hacksmarter DA, be something like, be something like hacksmarter.da. Uh, local, maybe?
I don't know if I'm doing that right. For some reason, my brain's like breaking. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. But now we need to get the SID for this admin user. You can actually use Certify to do that. And it shows you in the wiki. <clears throat> uh, I believe right here. To find the SID and other attributes of a target user like administrator, you can use this command. Okay. I apparently can't copy it. Let me copy it this way. So let's try this command. And we'll say getting the SID for... Why did it jump for the, geez, guys, I'm having issues in Notion now. The emperor, emperor. Okay, and now in Kali, it's Certify AD, not just Certify, so we can fix that as well. <clears throat> our username, this is our current user that we have compromised, so this will be soul, soulkiller.service. This is our password right here. Our domain controller IP. And instead of administrator, let's see if we can compromise the emperor. Since we know the someone named the emperor is also a domain admin, the emperor. That looks spelled wrong, but it must be right. Okay, let's try this command. And uh, I have a quote missing. Yep, I see it over here after my IP. I have two quotes. All right, there we go. And we were able to get the SID for that user. Let's add that to our notes as well. Oh, we don't even need the SID, gotcha. Well, we'll use it anyways. We'll grab the full SID right there. As we target this user, paste it in. And I, I'm sure I screwed up something in the syntax, but let's find out. Oh. Yeah, okay. Let's fix that. There we go. Add that to our notes. We'll just paste it all up here, showing that we were able to retrieve it. And so we have a certificate for the emperor.pfx. And I suppose, you know what, this would probably fit better underneath the other one. So I'm gonna delete it from up here because it's after we retrieve the SID for the emperor, we'll paste it in right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one just to clean up my notes a little bit. Okay, so the target is just the fully qualified domain name. I don't know why my brain broke there. I was thinking of a certificate for some reason, but the dc01.haxmar.local, and now we have the certificate for the emperor.pfx. And if we jump back over to the wiki, it actually walks you through how to exploit it. So it says, hey, we got a certificate that is good. We have the .pfx file, and now we can go ahead and authenticate and hopefully get a hash. You can see the syntax right there. We'll drop it in. But we have to change a few things. So our DC IP is going to be 10.1.201.33. Our PFX is going to be not uh, administrator, but rather the emperor, like so. And then remember, in Kali Linux, it's certify AD. Hit enter on our keyboard, and we got a hash for the emperor. Let's go ahead and copy this and drop it into our notes. What is going on with Notion, bruh? Getting the hash, like I type too fast. I'm done typing and it's still, it's still trying to fill things out and then it pulled up AI because it didn't know what it was doing. But now we have the NTLM hash for the emperor. Hopefully we can uh, use like evil win RM, pass the hash and authenticate and fully compromise the machine. Let's find out. Evil win RM dash U, the emperor dash H for pass the hash dash I DC01 hack smarter dot local cross our fingers hit enter and who am I we are the emperor now if we CD over to users administrator CD to desktop dir we can type root.txt and that will give you the final root flag and you can fully solve and compromise the machine. But here's the thing. I have showed you all of the steps to get to this point. I am not gonna show you the final flag, at least not in this video. 
but I've showed you all the steps. I want you to do this on your own and retrieve the final flag on your own. The last step is literally just type root.txt and it will give you the final flag. But ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the Arasaka machine from the Hacksmarter platform. A huge Thank you to Henry Lever, also known as Harrison Wells, for creating such an excellent Active Directory machine. Hey, hopefully you learned a lot in this series. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Believe it or not, I do my best to try to read and respond to all, I'll just say most, because I can't respond to all, but most of the comments on my YouTube channel. Say so, hey, thank you so much for watching in the series, and I will catch you in the next one.